Here we have a 2013 on a 13 registration Van Hool TX16 Alicron 53 seat executive coach. We're offering this vehicle for sale on behalf of Simpsons Coaches up in Aberdeenshire. Uh, the metallic green livery gives it away as being new to King's Coaches in Essex. The KC60 registration is that this was vehicle was bought for King's um, Diamond Jubilee, 60 years, which you'll be able to see on the back window very shortly. Very straight coach. Um, to be honest, I've just said that this metallic green colour just needs Glen Valley on the side. I think there's a deal to be had here, Dan, to be honest. Alloy wheels fitted. Power operated centre continental door. You can see from the length of this vehicle, it's a 13.2 metre. Um, the most desirable in the Van Uyl TX range, the 13.2 on two axles. Unfortunately, never built to Euro 6. Um, weight issues, unfortunately. This is a Euro 5 then. Uh, MAN Euro 5, driven through a ZF AS Tronic gearbox. You can just make out, if the light's right, uh, the transfers on the back window that's King's Coach is 1953 to 2013. As we said, it was the Diamond Jubilee vehicle, hence the registration. Reverse camera fitted, back down the near side. We've got loading lights, cantrail level. Straight again on the body. We are offering this vehicle with a repaint into one base colour. So if metallic green isn't for you as long as it's not a metallic you can have it whatever colour you want they were talking about painting it white but I saw I said well the trouble is when you paint something white somebody comes along and wants it blue because of that extra metre we've got loads of luggage space no real issues there you'll also notice um, hum, there's an onboard vacuum cleaner hiding in there and as we jump on board, the interior might appeal to another operator in the northeast of England, Mr. Shipley, because this is his standard uh, interior of choice. 53 reclining seats in this vehicle, finished with this black and gold half leather trim. I've said it a million times, but I can't get on with the embroidered numbers in the address because the next guy doesn't want them, you know? I think operators who spec that should be advised by the dealers to get a set of head flaps made that you can take on and put off with the numbers on. <coughs> Lap belts are fitted. We've got wood effect flooring. It's a clean, tidy bus, this, to be honest. But, you know, run up here at Simpsons, likes his MANs, he knows them inside out. So if you've got any fears, sort of, about the mechanical side of MANs, you won't have buying a vehicle from here. We've got trace to the seat backs. There's also, you know, the, the um, cloth magazine holders that fasten on with the press studs. There is a set of them to go back on this vehicle. They were taken off, obviously, because just kids were messing about with them. Centre sunken toilet, no hot drinks facility. We're wired for DVD with two monitors, manual drop down unit in the centre and a power drop down unit at the front. And getting back to the MAN issue, you know, if you watch any of my videos on Euro 5 MANs, it's very simple. People have had, and it's been you know, documented all over the place. Let me just interrupt because just want to point out we are obviously fully air conditioned. Um, massive, massive, expensive problems with um, Euro 5 MANs. But all you've got to do is use the correct coolant because I believe it's the wrong coolant that corrodes the inside of the EGR. Um, and basically, Split the radiators, 
every so often and give them a good blasting out and if it uses a teaspoon of water get it straight into a man because you catch the key is catching it at that point because that's if you don't that's when the damage starts you know you've just got to you've just got to know the vehicle it's like anything every vehicle has its quirks unfortunately mans have been very very well documented um and as long as you treat them right they'll treat you right you know it's, this one's not done a lot either. It's done 416,000 kilometres. It's got a fridge in the dashboard. It's got a courier seat. And once it has a new coat of paint, I've just. That would normally be the bunk, but when I've lifted it up, it's just a nice big storage cupboard. Unless you want to put a foam mattress in, of course. Yeah, once this has had a coat of paint, be a different vehicle again. That's assuming it doesn't end up at Glen Valley. So, to recap, 2013, Honor 13, Van Hool, TX16 Alacron, 53 seat, executive coach.